Hello, hello, Robin here from Expert On, and today we are going to be talking about some marine speakers. Great options if you're going to be plugging it straight into the head unit, or if you want to have some really big bad boys, that's what we've got over here at the end. Now, these are all the PLMR straightforward series that they have. These are two-way speakers, which are very, very important. Uh, it's one of our most popular speakers here when it comes to customers listening to the actual soundboard, and the reason is because you actually have a tweeter and a woofer in these speakers. And this being a five and a quarter makes it a very rare commodity on the market uh, when it comes to a two-way, not a full range or a dual cone, but an actual two-way tweeter and woofer five and a quarter speaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these puppies out of the box here, have a look at them. So now this one here, it's uh, RMS Max out at uh, 150 watts. So, you know, uh, if you're looking at a pile radio, you're probably looking at... Uh, something that has like four times 75 watts to it that sort of thing and it's a good match they're very efficient speakers so what i mean by that is it takes very little power to get them excited and get them going so we definitely get a lot of volume out of them without putting a lot in behind it so again the plmr 52 we're going to slide that box over here and so important, not all speakers do this, but the PLMR 52s, just like we're gonna find out with these guys, include the wire with it, which is nice. Now, if you do have better wire in your boat, but you just need the connectors, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using six inches of this wire and then connecting to yours. So just make sure you have a good solid connection, uh, nothing that's gonna come loose, something that's gonna make sure you get it across really well. Uh, the reason why, I mean, big speaker wire is meant for traveling distance. Once we get to the speaker, just like all speakers, the connections here, it's hard to see, I know, but from the actual terminals, the little wire here going in there, that's probably 18 gauge. Those are, that's what's making contact to the drivers and to the tweeter inside. So if I used six inches of this wire just to make my connection here, we're not taken away from the product, that's for sure. So that's important, there we go. Okay, so. Speaker includes a gasket, stop it from vibrating. That sits right on the outer lip. We'll put that right back there just so we have a good idea. So that's gonna be our minimum cut is where this gasket is. Now there is a template included with it, but that's what we're looking at. So we need our cut to be the inside of that. So to find that one out today, we shall measure it. Now, this is why. Manufacturers have slight variations, but most of them all measure their speakers the same when it comes to size. They are talking roughly the screw hole, not the inside. So if I look at this and I go on the outside here and I read that number, I'm gonna get five and a quarter. Screw hole to screw hole like an X pattern, just like that, okay? Now, when you take your speaker off, some manufacturers vary a little bit on how fast they taper in on the back. So it's always good to have a, a good idea on the back because you could get surprised with what you're going to see. So if I did that on the back side here and try and get that just right or close enough. These ones are, if I'm pretty good with this and saying that that's about right, I'm going to take this and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say it's like a four and a quarter. So I'd want a whole size of about four and a quarter for this guy. Okay. So that's what we're gonna see there. So four and a quarter is my cut size, five and a quarter is screw hole to screw hole on an X pattern. So that's what we're looking at. Now, what makes this marine grade? Some of the features that make this marine grade would make it bad for a house speaker, would make it really good for a boat. One polypropylene for the driver, then they use a rubber gasket instead of a sponge gasket coming over the edge. So again, this is to keep the water out. Uh, they lacquer coat all the wires and connections on it, so this way it's really durable, and there's some sort of a mineral spirit sort of thing. The idea is to keep water out from going inside behind where the magnet is located and the actual coil, so minimize that. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. Now, at, at the same time, all this is all plastic. So again, not something I want for my home speaker, but if I scratch this, that's all. It's it's all metal. It's, sorry, it's all plastic. It's uh, it's going to be extremely durable. We're not worried about that. So that's a big big plus on these things. So that's the Pile Hydra, and that was the five and a quarter. So we move up. We're now going to look at 
the six and a half. And these are all part of the same series, the same family of speakers. So now we've moved up to a 200 watt speaker, so 25% more power. Again, the six and a half also includes the wires with it, so wires included. Another great speaker to run off your head unit. <laughs> so on the back, we've got ourselves a six and a half inch, 200 watts peak power. Again, good for if we're running on a head unit, uh, you know, four times 75 watts. So this way this guy's gonna get pretty much what it wants. Same thing as what we'd run on the five and a quarters. The biggest difference is a little bit baser because we have increased the size of the, the, the woofer on it and a little bit better throw distance. So that's a big plus. Now, something people have asked me lots of times over the years, do these covers come off? Uh, unfortunately, they do. <laughs> but you've got to crack the seal all the way around and somehow pull this off. I've done it twice and I don't want to do it a third time. So can you do it? Yes. Is it a pain in the butt? Absolutely. It's for sure, for sure. So that's what you're seeing here. Um, carefully note in the back, there is a positive and a negative mark here. Uh, so this way you can actually see which side is going to get the red and black wire, but it's very faintly marked. It is there. Now, again, when they measure, they measure on the outside. That's where we're going to see our six and a half. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get an accurate measurement on the inside here, but I'm going to roughly say, I got a measuring tape here. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, we'll try and get an absolute for sure, for sure at the bottom. Uh, but here, if I measure the gasket, because I'm not going to get a good accurate reading on the speaker, uh, we are looking at uh, just a little over five. So I'd probably want to see a hole in my boat to hold a speaker of five and a quarter uh, for the cutouts. So remember, if we measure the speaker itself we are going to see six and a half from screw hole to screw hole which means they're pretty consistent so there we go here's the big one this is amazing this is uh, they call it their eight inch uh, it's huge uh, it looks huge it feels huge it's awesome so if you want a really impressive speaker and you're cutting out your own holes and you've got room for this, this is awesome. Here, I'm just going to hold this up against the five and a quarter just to give you an idea of the size of these two speakers. I mean, that's it. Now, you know what you're going to get sound wise out of that. That is just phenomenal. So, again, even if I hold it against the six and a half, I mean, this is what people are normally buying. I mean, so if you can really, you want to you wanna pump out the sound, this is what you're going to do. I mean, we look at the back and front. I mean, it's just monstrously, proportionally bigger. And that's not a subwoofer. That's an actual speaker. So that's a big, big plus. Now, the important thing is, is no, I'm not going to run this off my actual head unit. So that's, you know, you've got a couple of great options. you got tons of options. I mean, you don't have to break the bank. Uh, you can get a four-channel amp. Uh, for example, from Pile, it's called a PLMRA410 or 400. Uh, one has Bluetooth, one doesn't. That's going to give you four times 100 watts. That's a great way to go. Um, or you get into their PLMRA200 uh, and 210 series, which is two channel with bridging capabilities for uh, subwoofer. But one of those kind of amps would be really, really good for it. Uh, the wattage may not sound like there's much more, but if we were to say the power that comes out, uh, the head units is like a garden hose. So the wattage is how fast it's coming out. The size is, is how much power is behind it. Uh, amplifiers are going to be uh, a fire hose. So the, the speed isn't going to be that much more, maybe twice sometimes, but the girth, the size of the energy coming out to hold the speaker in place so this way it can travel back and forth and give you awesome sound is going to be the big plus for it. So that's why people get amplifiers when they want bigger volume out of bigger speakers. So again, I'm going to measure this up and put it on the website. But for example, this outside is the screw hole setting is at 
eight and three quarters for the screws. Uh, we have the gasket, so we do have the gasket. We'll pull in the box. Was in the box. It's over here. There we go. So it also comes with wires. So I won't forget that. It also comes with wires. I'm going to measure the gasket. Again, we'll try and get a much more accurate number down below to make sure. Uh, but you're looking at a whole size of seven and a quarter. So seven and a quarter is what you got to cut out uh, to get this thing in there. But I mean, if you're lucky enough to be able to put in a speaker like this in your boat, the prices are absolutely awesome. Uh, have a look at our site for pricing. There's also, we'll have links down below. So this way you can see pricing in the US and in Canada and compare the two. Um, so they'll all be there for you. These are three great options for speakers. They're all two-way speakers. Um, you will see other speakers and we are gonna talk about other speakers that are dual cone or full range speakers. Uh, they're definitely, this is definitely an upgrade from that. So uh, if you've got any questions or comments, Make sure to let us know because I don't think there's much more I can really say about these except we do have these two in the board. I don't have room yet for this in our board, so we're going to work and figure out how to get this in our board or somewhere somehow attached. But uh, these two, uh, like I said, awesome to listen to, especially if you're just wanting to replace some old blown out speakers or you're looking for something new and you want to do it for a reasonable price. Uh, spending money on these guys with, a, with an actual two-way system on it versus some more expensive ones that are just dual cone, which is basically another way of saying no tweeter. Um, you, you're definitely gonna enjoy the sound of these ones a lot better, that's for sure. All right, again, it's Robin, it's Expert Island. We're doing marine audio all week, and uh, we're gonna have another video up soon. Take a look for that. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below, please, and subscribe. I really need a thumbs up, and I need subscribers to really make sure that we're going in the right direction. Thank you again. Bye now. Wow, that is huge.